everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Insidious Chapter 3. So, Insidious Chapter 3 is about this teenage girl played by Stephanie Scott, and she has been trying to contact her dead relative, and so she needs Elise to help her in order for her to contact her close relative. But some demon follow Stephanie Scott. So now it's up to Elise to use her powers to try to get this very dark spirit out of Stephanie Scott before things get much, much worse. And this is a prequel, so it does take place a few years before the events of the Insidious movies, chapter one and chapter two. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I like the first two Insidious movies. Are they scary movies? Not exactly. I see them more as fun popcorn flicks. I could just sit down and have fun watching. But going into Insidious Chapter 3, however, I was not looking forward to this movie, to be honest. Did I think it looked terrible from the trailers? Nah, I thought it looked very, very meh from the trailers. Insidious Chapter 3, it actually is better than I expected. Now, do I think it's as good as 1 and 2? I don't think so, to be honest. I think 1 and 2 are still better in this whole trilogy, and I hope this is a trilogy. Please, no Insidious Chapter 4. Please just make this a trilogy. But as far as third films and a horror franchise go, this was actually not bad. I didn't mind sitting through Insidious Chapter 3. So my positives with Insidious Chapter 3 is that Stephanie Scott, who was in that Disney Channel show, Ant Farm, she was the mean girl in that show, and I would watch that show with my, like, whenever I was with my little cousins, but she's in this movie as the lead girl, and I gotta say, she impressed the hell out of me. This is one of the best young female performances I've seen in quite some time. She had a very strong character. The movie makes me care about her character. I want this demon to go away because I want her to be okay. If you have a really good performance to carry your character, that's a credit. So Stephanie Scott, seriously, bravo. Her performance is Excellent. And when I say excellent, I really mean that. And she wasn't one of those cliched main girls where she's just running and screaming. No, she was actually quite brave. I mean, without getting any details, she goes through a ton of shit. It's not even funny. You would even think at a point she'd be dead because of the shit she went through. Like, holy crap. But her character stayed strong. And... You know, she showed her fear, but at the same time, you know, she was trying to stay strong, and I was just really rooting for her character. Another strong performance, definitely I have to give praise for, besides Stephanie Scott, is Lynn Shay. Out of all the Insidious movies, this is the film where she gives the strongest performance. And it's really cool because you actually get to learn more about Elise. You got to get her backstory. Lynn Shea showed a lot of subtlety to her character. You could tell that her character Elise was just very scared, but she tries to overcome the fear that she has. The next one I have to give credit to is Lei Wanell. I hope that's how you pronounce him. I am aware that he's actually been working with James Wan. And due to the fact that James Wan, of course, he's directing Furious 7, that's when Lei Wanell comes in to direct Insidious Chapter 3. And I was worried about that too because you know, James Wan, he did such a great job of how he was directing the first two movies, and I was just worried how this would go, but I gotta say, credit to Lee Whannell because this is a well-directed movie, and that's just because you could tell Lee Whannell, obviously, he knows what the Insidious movies are about. And, you know, I can honestly say he does capture what Insidious is about. The magic might not be in here as much as I felt in the first two movies, in my opinion at least, but he still captures what this world, what this environment is all about, and that's a huge credit to him. And this is his directorial debut. Seriously, Lei Wano, great job. Cinematography for the movie, very well shot. 
looks so beautiful. I really like how the film built up tension at times. Like there were moments where I got a little bit of the chills because of the way this film was building up tension. I really liked how this film tied into the first two Insidious movies. Considering this is a third film, but a prequel, yeah, kind of wrap around your head on that for a sec. It really does tie into the first two movies. And that's why I say Hollywood, please, for the love of God, do not milk this franchise. Keep this a trilogy. All right, you already did a decent job at ending this entire trilogy. You, we don't need a fourth one. Please do not do what you're doing to the Paranormal Activity movies, which is just milking those movies. You're milking the money out of them. Okay, I'm just going to stop there. It's a pretty satisfying conclusion, I could say. And we just don't need any more. I also do got to say that the third act was quite suspenseful. It was really interesting. And the third act gave me of what I really liked about the first two Insidious movies. It really gave me that vibe. But... With all the positives that are in this movie, there are also the negatives. So, one of my negatives with this movie is that there are too many damn jump scares. Like, it's jump scare after jump scare after jump scare. And I'll give this movie credit. At least when there's jump scares, you know, it's not a freaking cat flying around. There's no fake jump scares. Thank God I can't stand those. But, you know... The jump scares, they get interesting. They're building up tension at each jump scare. After a while, the jump scares just feel so repetitive. And the movie just feels really tiresome after a while because you're all like, okay, are we ever going to move on to the next point of the story? Because I just feel like for a while, the movie was just becoming a filler, having jump scare after jump scare just after a while. There was just too many of them. There's also a few characters in this movie that you see for a while and you never see them again. They're like, they're completely ignored for the rest of the movie and they serve no purpose. Like, there's Stephanie Scott's best friend played by Haley Kiyoko. I hope I pronounced that right. You see her for a little bit, then it's all like, okay, I guess we never see you again. Then there's also her brother. I'll say he serves a little purpose without spoiling anything. Besides one little thing, brother was even wasted in this movie. The tone shifting was very unbalanced. Of course, I bought the fact that Stephanie Scott and her Mulroney, our father and daughter, I buy into that. I felt like the story of the father and the daughter wasn't all that compelling. As for Dermot Mulroney, I thought he was okay as a father. The actor, he does what he can. I just don't think that his performance as the father was strong compared to Stephanie Scott as the daughter and Lynn Shay as Elise. The main demon in this movie was also very forgettable. The demons are like, okay, I'm gonna scare Stephanie Scott. Oh, disappear. I'm gonna scare Stephanie Scott. Okay, disappear. Very underdeveloped and was just nowhere near as interesting as the antagonist in the first two Insidious movies, in my opinion. And the last flaw I did have with this film is that even though the third act was really interesting and really suspenseful, I did feel like the pacing of the third act was a little rushed. Overall, you guys, Insidious Chapter 3 was actually better than I expected. I don't think it's as good as the first and the second. I do think this is the weakest, but as far as prequels go, horror prequels, and as far as a third horror film. It was actually pretty decent. So I'm going to give Insidious Chapter 3 two and a half out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Insidious Chapter 3 and let me know what's your favorite Insidious movie in this trilogy. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!